Hi everyone, Cody here showing you how to make your YouTube profile picture blend perfectly into your channel art, like so. Some other examples include a simple Mario design I've made, as well as a more complex space design. You'll notice that pretty much the only thing that's keeping this from looking like it's all one image is the drop shadow that's created by uh, YouTube's website. And you'll see here that all, even on this very complex picture that all the pixels line up. So what you want to do is open up your image editing software, I prefer uh, GIMP, and then create a new image at 2560 by 1440. Let me just go ahead and scale this down a little bit to make it easier to work with. And there we go. Now the next step is you want to make a brand new layer. We'll be using this as guide. And instead of 1440 for the height, we'll change it to 424. That'll be the exact same height as the uh, YouTube banner. Go ahead and use the align tool and then center it. There we go. Now you notice uh, right here at the top right, or top left, sorry, that's where your YouTube profile pic will be, and the bottom right is where the channel links will be. So using a box selection tool, you can go ahead and create the uh, outline of where your uh, YouTube profile will be. We'll make sure that the size is 205 by 205, and the position is at 30 and 508. Now the reason why we keep it at 30 is because there's a little bitty gap in between the left edge and the uh, profile picture. Now you can either customize this however you wish, or drag and drop an image in, which I'll actually be doing. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Deselect. And drag and drop an image in. There we go. A little lightning cloud. Now it's very important that you scale this layer to be the uh, same numbers as before. 205 by 205. So there's that. Oops, let me just go ahead and fix that. 205. And scale. Once you've done that, you want to move that to the uh, same position as before, 30 by 508. Uh, using a little cheat code, we're going to go ahead and grab the align tool, change the offset to 30. There we go, 30. And then move it to the left edge. And another little shortcut, we'll go ahead and do negative 110. And then move it to the uh, middle. There we go. That'll make sure that it's flush with the uh, top side and it's in the right position. So you go ahead and uh, customize this however you wish, or you can drag and drop an image in once again, which I'll be doing for convenience. So, boom, there we go. Oops. Make sure your profile picture's on the top layer. Now, using the box selection tool, we'll go ahead and create the uh, channel link area. So, there we go. We, we want to make sure that the box size is 72 by 72. And we'll put it at the position 2456. And then the height of it, we'll put it at 860. That'll make sure that it perfectly lines up with the uh, YouTube channel links, the little highlighted area, which I'll show you right now. There you go. See that little bitty uh, kind of opaque looking area? Now, after you got everything lined up, you just want to make sure you grab the crop tool and then crop your newly made profile picture. And once again, with those numbers, 205 by 205 and then 30 by 508. Those are your cardinal numbers, you'll want to remember those. Let's go ahead and crop it. Now it's very important that you change the uh, image size of this. So we'll go ahead and scale this image up to 250. If it's any less than 250, Google Plus will not allow you to keep that as a profile picture. So we'll go ahead and scale that, and then we'll export it. Let's go ahead and go to File, Export, and then I would recommend using a PNG. So we're going to name this Profic. Export. And then once you got that done, just go ahead and click back on the window and press Control C a couple times. There you go. And we'll go ahead and uh, make the profile picture invisible just for right now. And then we'll go ahead and add a channel to the uh, background. This will help reduce the size like I was talking about earlier as a PNG. So go ahead and export this newly made one. And then we'll save this as channel art. Once you got that done, just go ahead and go check out the picture. So there we go, channel art. Make sure there's no deformities in that. And then go ahead and right click and check the properties. You want to make sure that this is under 2 megabytes. If it's any higher than that, YouTube will not allow you to use that as your channel art. So we'll go ahead and go to YouTube now. 
and at the uh, top right of the uh, profile picture, you'll see that little pencil. Go ahead and click that and then edit on Google+. Once you've done that, just go ahead and upload your brand new profile picture. And there you go. There we go. Let's go ahead and set his profile. And we'll just go ahead and cancel out the sharing thing just because there's no point for it. So once you've done that, just go ahead and refresh your YouTube channel. And there you go. Now go to the top right of the uh, channel art. And then click Edit Channel Art. Select Photo. And then we'll upload our brand new channel art. Go ahead and adjust the crop. That way you can see the uh, area that we deleted out earlier to make transparent is like there. You're really only going to see that if you're using a big screen TV. Otherwise, that whole area is what you'll see. It'll take a second to save just because it's such a big file. And there we go. As you can see, everything just flows perfectly into the profile picture. It's as if it's all just one picture. Now over here, I kind of goofed when I made the uh, image earlier. I Instead of putting the... Uh, position at 2456 I put it at 2460 that was my fault but as you can see it kind of highlights the uh, Google or the uh, channel links to make it a little bit easier so yeah I hope this helped you out I'll leave a link to the template I used in the uh, description below